This is a turnkey solution、uh, for robotic vacuum based on steuration. So we only have a, a single steel camera、uh, sensor, and it does everything. Replace the, all the sensors on a robotic vacuum、uh, for slam to build a map、uh, to do the、uh, global path planning. Uh, and uh, do the 3D obstacle avoidance, detect the staircase so that it won't fall,、uh, and also can、uh, get you、uh, exactly、uh, very accurately close to the wall so that you can clean along the wall. So first,、uh, as you see here, is、uh, doing this、uh, go with this、uh, U shape, and while it's going,、uh, it actually can detect the, the walls and also build the, the map.、Uh, the map is on the Uh, bottom right corner,、uh, as you see here, what the area is、uh, has gone through is in uh, uh, gray color.、Uh, so now it actually build the map for this entire、uh, right region, and all of those regions are covered. So now it goes to the left because there's still、uh, don't see walls on the left side. That means、uh, there's still、uh, empty uh, area uh, which it has not.、Uh, Gone through、uh, to clean, so you start uh, cleaning uh, this uh, left region.、Uh, so it will go until、uh, it see all of the walls, uh, uh, or it sees a, a door. It will get into、uh, another room.、Um, and the, uh, this uh, steel camera uh, can also uh, accurately uh, detect the distance to the right. Uh, so that if replace the QF sensor,、uh, you, as you see, it can actually maintain a very accurate distance, about like one centimeter to the right, so that it can actually walk along the wall and clean the area、uh, next to the walls.、Um, then、uh, for steel camera, the、uh, the most uh, uh, advantage is actually it is a three D vision, so it can see. Of the ob、uh, obstacles with a different height,、uh, so here you see it actually avoid that uh, uh, medicine bottle.、Um, although this can this kind of uh, uh, obst obstacle can be detected by、uh, lidar <coughs> because that bottle is、uh, slightly higher than、uh, the position usually、uh, lidar is placed, which is on top of the robotic vacuum. But for other two items. Which are lower uh, than uh, that position. So for uh, uh, robotic vacuum that use lidar, it cannot detect that. But、uh, here you see a、uh, steel vision.、Uh, since it's a three D vision, it actually can see this kind of、uh, object. Also, if you look at the map on the right,、uh, you can see、uh, the demonstration for.、Uh, Uh, coverage algorithm, so it will、uh, detect、uh, all the regions areas it has not、uh, gone through. It will then go to this region and uh, uh, then go through that, clean it.、Uh, then once that's all clean,、uh, it will move to、uh, the other regions、uh, that it has not、uh, has not、uh, gone through.、Uh, here is a、uh, another demo of the <coughs> this is a 3D obstacle capability. As you see. On the left is a、uh, uh, uh, competitor's vacuum,、uh, so it cannot detect this kind of semi-transparent、uh, object、uh, that it got stuck.、Uh, but we don't have that problem.、Uh, and also, it seems it's a three division. It actually can detect this kind of gap,、uh, so it knows this gap is a little bit higher, so it can actually、uh, go through that.、Uh, now we put、uh, two gaps. Uh, one of them is、uh, slightly lower than the height of the、uh, robotic vacuum,、uh, and the UCL robotic vacuum detect that, so it won't uh, uh, get into that gap.、Uh, but the,、uh, the the next gap is actually slightly higher.、Uh, now let's see、uh, what this、uh, what our robot will do. Wow! You see, it actually uh, uh, it passed. Through that、uh, gap because it knows that gap is、uh, slightly higher. So this solved the most uh, <coughs> uh, challenge problem、uh, in all of the robotic vacuum, whether they use lidar or they use a、uh, uh, single eye camera. 
uh, because the uh, uh, the number one challenge for robot is uh, uh, it's got stuck, and also it uses to uh, find the charging station and go back.